Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so this video is actually going to be like cleaning slash getting ready for company. Um, so today is February 29th and tomorrow is Nick's birthday and tomorrow his parents are coming to town to spend the weekend with us for his birthday. So it's gonna be really nice. And so instead of doing my like weekly cleaning yesterday on Wednesday, I decided to wait and do it today, the day before they came, because as you may or may not have maybe noticed or realized, our floors get very dirty very fast because we have a dog named Lucas who is wonderful. Okay, I love him to pieces, but he's a messy boy. He brings a lot of dirt into our house, but it's all good. Wouldn't trade it for the world, but I want it to be, you know, as clean as possible right before they come. And we're also going to give Lucas a bath tonight, which I think, I think we might actually try and film it. So stay tuned for that. But first, so I'm doing laundry. I'm washing all of our towels. We don't have a ton of towels, um, so I wanna make sure all of those are clean, um, so that way everybody has a towel they can use. And I'm also washing our bedding. So if you hear that in the background, that's what that is. But I thought, because it's the last day of February, I thought I would update this and switch it for March. So let's do that together. Oh, I'm also, I'm rendering my video for Monday. I finished it today. Oh, guys, speaking of. Okay, really, really quick side tangent, okay? Yesterday, I was basically editing all day. It was freezing cold. So Tuesday, okay, Tuesday here, it was 70, I think three degrees was the high. Warmest day ever in the winter time in Toledo. Yesterday, Wednesday, 33 degrees, okay? And we also were under a wind advisory all day yesterday. It was super, super windy, so I did not take Lucas for a walk. It's all good. I ended up meeting up. I took a break from editing, and I met up with one of my friends at Barnes & Noble. And guys, I didn't get a book, okay? I don't have room. We haven't built the bookshelf yet because it's been so freaking cold, and we want to cut the wood outside. So hopefully... Hopefully soon, but I found something for Nick. So he's gonna get this as well as his other gift for his birthday. And I wanted to wrap it up, but when we reorganized our storage room, I don't know where we put the wrapping paper. I mean, is it Christmas wrapping paper? Yes, but who cares? I don't know where we put it. So, and this is a little too big for the bags as well as his other gift, but for months, Okay, we've gone to like Michael's and all these other places looking for origami paper. Well, yesterday in Barnes and Noble, look what I found. Origami! This contains 200 origami papers and a 96 page book with instructions to make 30 unique origami models. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, I'm really excited. I know he's really gonna like this. And now he has origami paper. And it's literally just a bunch of paper so he can either make ones from the book or he can make his own. So I got that yesterday. I had to show you. This morning I finished my video for Monday. All I had to do was add some music, transitions. Now I'm rendering it and then I just need to export and then upload. So that should get done today. Now I did get my thumbnail done for Monday too. So listen, we're on top of things here. All right, so now we're going to do this. And these are my little pictures that I have. So there's me and Nick. This is when he gave me the Polaroid for my birthday, this one. And we took this one together. This is me and one of my best friends from high school. And then this is me and my dad. This was actually my, it was my senior year of high school. One of my cousins got married and I actually missed, cause she got married on a Friday and I actually missed the first day of senior year because our 
first day was on a Friday. So anyway, I missed the first day, but who cares, to go to the wedding. And that was in like the photo booth that they had, and that was me and my dad. All right, let's, let's do this calendar now. done so this is what March is looking like so basically this is just like an overall of things that we have so like the first Nick's birthday and then I have a line here because his parents are coming into town I have a doctor's appointment and then on the 16th I invited my whole family over for dinner so they're all gonna be coming over for dinner it's gonna be really nice this is just basically like an outline of everything that we have going on for this month and then as far as like my like YouTube and stuff like that I write that on my planner but this is for our like both of our like agendas kind of thing all right guys oh so a little bit of an update on this whole puzzle situation because this puzzle situation is really starting to irritate me okay I woke up and this was more damaged like and she like just she meaning Val destroyed stuff in there and I'm missing the top of this tree I have no idea where it is guys 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 I am I'm getting really really irritated like that's not an easy puzzle to just like hold on okay I thought I was missing another tower but like it's not an easy puzzle to like put together and she just keeps ruining it like this morning we found a piece of the puzzle in our bedroom like ma'am please stop anyway that's the update on that here's how lucas is doing with his bones so this is the second like the bottom part of the bone i'm sorry sorry i'll give you your space this is the top part so it's a lot a lot smaller <coughs> hey she wasn't going for your bone okay i'm so dude don't be swinging that thing around oh, my word. oh and then i took the rest of so for my k-cups Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for my K-Cups, I just use Kroger brand medium roast uh, donut shop blend, 100%. I'm not even going to say it. You can read it. So this is 120 count. And this, I used to get the, um, I think it was the Duncan medium roast. But to get this big Kroger 120 count, it was a lot cheaper. And it tastes the exact same. So... We like Kroger brand. Um, so I just took, cause I didn't have that many left. So I just put it in here. So this is all full. I'm going to, I don't know how well you can see, but there's like fur and like litter and like, oh gosh, just a bunch of stuff all over this. So I'm gonna clean this and I think I'm gonna like wipe this down and everything. Hi buddy. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better. This morning I, w I was feeling very stressed. Um, I woke up at like, I think like a quarter to four or something this morning and I could not get back to sleep. I don't think I got back to sleep until like 4.30 or something like that. Like my mind was just going. I was like, obviously like I'm fine. Like I had like everything done. I knew what I had left. It wasn't going to take me that long. But like in my head, I was like stressing and I was going over everything and I was like, okay, I need to do this, 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 this. I'm like, let's just go to sleep. Like, worry about that in the morning. Like, you are fine. And like, with how much of my video that I had left to do, I could have done that Sunday evening. Not a big deal at all. So the reason, you know, for me waking up at four in the morning, stressing about it, that was, didn't need to happen. Lucas likes to sit on top of 
the pillows. Buddy, you can't, okay. Alrighty. Mm, all right. So anyway, so now I'm going to, I think just put some music on and just grind and clean. I'll probably like take a break in the middle somewhere to export my video. And I think also part of my thing this morning when I woke up is I kind of, kind of impulsely, kind of not bought a couple things yesterday. I went, so one of the creators that I watch and actually kind of inspired me to start my channel, Anna Hyde, she recently came out with a necklace with every jewels and it's beautiful. It's normally not something that I would really wear, but it's really beautiful and I wanted to support her. So I went and I bought that and like it wasn't, it wasn't expensive at all by any means. I bought that and then I also ended up getting like this travel jewelry thing, like little box that like zips to travel with for jewelry. And it's like, did I really need that? No, but like, I don't know. That's also like kind of what was going through my mind. I was like, oh, I shouldn't have bought it, blah, blah, blah. But like, I don't know, my mind was just going. So now we're just going to put some music on and we're just gonna, we're gonna jam, we're gonna clean, everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna get everything done with plenty of time to spare because it, it doesn't take me long to clean the house. I literally put music on and I just go. I put music on and then I just, I, I'm in my own world, I'm dancing, I'm having fun, I'm cleaning, so I don't know. It is a nice sunny day today. It's cold, it's 30. 30 degrees so it's cold but at least it's nice and sunny yesterday it was cloudy and windy and it was just no bueno but today it's beautiful sunny and I think I think my mom's coming over later she's gonna come I think around 1 because she had texted me yesterday and asked if I would want to go for a walk today and I was like yeah we'll see I got a lot to do tomorrow oh, thank you thank you thank you for the kisses I was like, yeah, possibly. And then this morning I texted her and I was like, do you wanna just meet at my house around like one and that way I can finish up like anything that I need to and then we can go from a walk, go for a walk from there. She was like, yep. So she's gonna come around one. It's 11.20 right now. So like I have plenty of time. And you know, if I don't get to everything right now, that's fine. I think the washer's done, so I'm going to move those to the dryer and then put the last of the washer stuff in. Yeah, it's all gonna be okay. It's all gonna work out. It's gonna be great. And the house is gonna be clean and we're gonna be happy and we're gonna have a good day. It's going to be a good day. I'm cold, which I don't like, but it's gonna be a good day. All right guys, I have to pop on really quick because, oh, okay. So you know the like small blue, Lucas, can you stop dropping your bones? You know the small blue bed that Lucas has here? Okay, well I always move it when I go to like vacuum and everything and I normally flip it over. Why is my face so red? What the heck? Anyway, I normally flip it over, get all the loose stuff out. Guys, I flipped this thing over and shook it out. The amount of teeny tiny ants that just fell off of that bed. Oh my, oh my word, oh my freaking word. I, <sighs> listen, I'm not one that like gets grossed out by insects. The only, the only like insect that I do not do are spiders. Can you stop dropping that close to my feet, please? Spiders and me are a no-go, okay? Lucas, please take that into another room. Spiders and me are a no-go, okay? But when you have a bunch of little ants and like creepy crawlers in your house that you are living in, oh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, 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 I don't do that. I, I don't do that. We had ants in the fall and they were a bit bigger and these, oh my gosh, I just, I can't. Which we think because our yard is 
covered in ant hills. Like you cannot go a single place in our yard well maybe our front yard but like our backyard there is not a space that is not covered with an anthill somewhere and like it's all sand back there so that's probably why we have an ant problem but like when i just turned it over and it was just oh my word oh my word oh my word give me the heebie jeebies and then it's like you feel like they're crawling on you okay nope 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 not climbing up <sighs> and we also nick has been saying stuff for a while now but last night i heard it because he was like i i hear something in like the ceiling and the walls and scratching and i was like i don't i don't know well last night last night i heard it there was like this really loud like scratching sound and we think that there's some type of animal in the attic we love that for us but since we're renting this place i was like it's not our it's not our job to mess with that mainly because i don't really want to so i reached out to the company obviously it was late at night but i reached out to them and hopefully they will be taking care of that which that kind of creeps me out last night too but like this ant thing has been an ongoing problem for months and i just i i just can't the last time we had the ants, they were like crawling up onto like the counter. It was, it was bad. And we got like some traps for them and like they, they seemed to go away. But like where we keep like our baking stuff, I ended up doing like a full big clean out and like put like pretty much everything in a bag. But we found that they were like, they had a whole colony in our brown sugar and it grossed me the heck out. So yeah if you have i literally just took his bed i tried to dump out all of the ants and like vacuum the ants but then i literally just took it out to the sunroom i'm like i'm not not doing this oh my word guys like i'm not one that like gets grossed out by things but like ugh. anyway okay back to cleaning i just i had to update you guys on that because i need help i need help okay guys like Please, if you have any tips for ants, like, please, please, please leave them in the comments below because I am over this ant problem. We've had it for months and we had it once before where we had like a ton of them and we were literally, we had the vacuum by us like at all times because there were just always ants everywhere. So please, 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 if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below.
I cleaned surfaces. Um, I like wiped down some extra surfaces because they were getting dusty. Um, and then I just vacuumed. So now all I have left to do is mop. And I think my mom's either on her way or gonna be on her way shortly. Yeah, so this might be the last time I'm talking to you guys. Um, I don't know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this clean with me video. Please let me know down below what can, what can we do to help this whole ant situation because <laughs> yeah, because we're tired of it. Val loves uh, to watch the ants and she she's our pest control right now. She takes care of the ants. <laughs> But I would really appreciate us not having to have a pest control person, you know? So yeah, please let me know what can we do. Please, please let me know. Don't knock it over. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I love and appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.